Okay, I don't like introductions, intro. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how to install Ubuntu on a virtual machine on your MacBook. So head over to this website, ubuntu.com. And then here you should go to get Ubuntu. Let's click on here. And then here we're gonna have to go to server and here we can see get Ubuntu server. And uh, here, let's click on get Ubuntu server. And if you scroll a little bit down here, you should find the Ubuntu server for this one, get Ubuntu server. And then just click on this download button right over here. Click on allow. And now just wait for this process to complete. Now we're going to have to download this one here. So just look for this app. Click on download. Allow. All right. Windows, Linux, meet Apple Silicon. All right. So download it. So now let's go to file here in download we're going to click on the utm file and let's drag from left to right and install this okay now let's open command space utm press on your keyboard enter and then here click on open now continue and let's click on create a new virtual machine and here if you are installing this on your m series m1 m2 and 3 click on virtualize for intel click on emulate i'm going to on virtualize because i'm installing this on macbook pro m3 and uh, now here we're gonna have to select linux now let's click on continue okay so i forgot to actually select the is5 fonts and here i'm gonna select ubuntu open now continue. Now here the memory and uh, it default it's fine. Default it's fine for me. Or you can use four or five. And click on continue. Now specific uh, specify the size of the drive where data will be stored. Now I don't really need sixty four, but. You can go with 64. I have enough memory right now, but yeah. And uh, now let's click on continue. And uh, now to allow a path and allow download. Why not? Helps. We can continue. Name. Architecture. We can see RAM 4, CPU 4. Yeah. Okay, and uh, here I'm just gonna type Ubuntu. Mm. Twenty, and now let's click on save. Now we're gonna click on this button right over here to run. Okay, start boot option. Here we can uh, select capture. Now let's click on uh, this. Try install. Use your arrows up and down. Try to install. Display output is not active. Um, Connected now select English. Click on enter. 
and here variant uh, done here ubuntu server done here done proxy address done done okay use the entire space uh, the entire entire disk done uh, done here and click on continue and here make sure you remember your name that you type your server your 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 username your password and that's uh that you have to do one second okay so let's uh write the name okay okay and now let's click on done but actually we don't click on done i'm sorry we just use the arrows we just use the arrows but let me select ubuntu and here we use the arrow i see i'm selecting here using the arrows and click on done now and here we can see uh, uh, create this machine to ubuntu pro from security updates or much wider range of packages uh, enable Ubuntu Pro. I will just skip for now and click on uh, done. We'll just use the arrows done here. If you need any of this, usually I use dock. And now let's click on close. So uh, if you have any of this, uh, if you're actually want to use any of this just check them all right and now we now have to click on actually i forgot to let's just check this just press on uh, space on your keyboard and now let's go to done so let's click on done now we're gonna have to wait for this to complete it usually wouldn't take that long depends on your internet connection so um i'm just gonna pause the video so i actually i can uh just uh, i'll just uh actually just finish so it doesn't matter now let's click on here to reboot so let's click on okay okay now the next step we're gonna have to uh, check this share directory and please here just clean and after you clean, we're gonna have to run Ubuntu, of course. Start boot option, wait. Oh, we just need to wait a couple of seconds, don't worry. And uh, now we're gonna have to enter login, so um, yeah. Let's log in. Okay, so okay, welcome to Ubuntu. As you can see, it worked without any problem. So now, and uh, now here, I'm just gonna enter, I'm gonna actually type this command so we're gonna have to up actually update the system okay let's see if it works now let's enter password and actually typed it correctly because i didn't uh, know for sure if i remember it correctly now um here guys let's just um
Uh, now here, guys, let's click on this and let's write sudo apt install Ubuntu desktop. All right. Type your password and wait for this to complete. Now here, let's type sudo reboot and click on OK. OK. And now this is the login. I'll just resize it like this. Now here, please pay attention because I made a mistake at first. So here when you click on, you know, you enter, don't enter your password right away. Please go here and change to this one here. Because if not, then it's going to cause a lot of issues. Now enter your password and we are in. So here we can see that we have Ubuntu, which is super nice. Okay, and now let's click on uh, next. Report a problem. Ubuntu is ready. Okay. Done. Internal problem. Send. Okay. Now well, let's see if it's actually it's fast. Yeah. Seems like it's fine. Uh -huh. Okay. No problem. And uh, I just want to test see if it's fast because that's what I want. And uh, but first time I installed it was fast didn't have any problems but as you can see even right now it's still fast you don't have any issues now um, you know when you're using uh, this when you're using Ubuntu right so now now guys let's fire up terminal control option T to fire up the terminal sorry and here control option T okay capture yes I want Terminal in here, we're gonna have to update uh, actually to install. We need the browser, we need um, also to fix a couple of problems. So please watch this till the very end so you won't have any problems on Ubuntu. Now we're gonna have to type here uh, this command and press and now just enter your password. Wait for this to complete. And now here we can type next command sudo app install and now here install the um, the browser you want. Now as you can see I also have this browser here and it works just fine. So now what I would do is actually go to here and then here we can find software update update click on this it's going to check for updates so important to check for new updates you also can click on this and here if you want some additional some additional information you can um, inf not information but deposits I think they're called so uh, you can see here you can check them if you want to you can check identification drivers Ubuntu Pro and and uh, yeah and now i thought to myself why not showing you how to customize in a very short time in short time how to customize ubuntu right so we're gonna have to go here and then click on the settings and now here i'm gonna go to background and we can change the background to any background 
I mean, you can choose from here. You can also add a picture from here if you want a specific background. But I like this one, it looks nice. Appearance, now we can change the appearance from here. So I like this color uh, size, small. I have a separate monitor, so that's not a problem here. We don't need icons. Like this, should be nice. Shown on. Okay, shown primary position on screen. Configure dock behavior if you want. Show trash, show volumes. So notification, multitasking, mm, touch the top screen corner to open acti activities overview, which is nice. Applications, we can see applications and uh, displays. So of course we can change the the resolution. I'm going to change the resolution here to let's see if this uh, one right over here works apply let's see so yeah seems like it works but i don't uh, need to actually the resolution is too too much for me so I'll apply this one here keep changes and as you can see it actually looks very nice i can click on here to go a full screen and yeah it works actually really nice there's no lag of anything like that so I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Make sure you subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and subscribe. I'll really appreciate it.